ubiquitous smash burgers, hashtag full time burger content. It's just cheeseburgers and I have no interest in interjecting myself into the discussion between thin versus thick patties. They both have their pros and cons, they both have a time and place. And because this is a smash burger video and I've been making them all summer, I'll speak to the merits of a, a thin smash burger style patty. First of all, you reduce the margin of error in under or over cooking the patty. You can prep a large amount of them in advance of a big barbecue. You can cook them and serve them up pretty quickly. This particularly comes in handy if you have a small cooking surface. You can just sort of keep cranking them out. Higher ratios of crust that's actually brown. And we know that a good crust is one of the best parts of a burger, so with two thin patties, you're doubling the amount effectively of, of the crust that you can get on your burger. Speaking of ratios, I'm gonna say that you get a better and more controlled ratio of meat to everything else that's in this style of burger. What else is in the burger? It shouldn't be anything other than Martin's potato rolls, creamy American sliced cheeses, I use Velveeta, but there's other kinds, that Kraft singles will work too, onions, pickles, mayo, and maybe mustard, and that's it. But honestly, make it however the fuck you want. On one occasion I was making the burgers this past summer, I picked up the camera and shot this video. And here we are. We're going to start by rolling some loosely packed balls at around two to three ounces each. No need to be terribly precise here. A note about the parchment paper. It's a critical part in this method and it'll ultimately serve us several functions. Preventing the meat from sticking to whatever you're flattening with, allows us to stack the raw patties without them sticking to one another, and it makes it easier to throw the patties on the grill. You don't necessarily need any specific tools to smash, you can really even use your hand. Be creative here. Don't get shy when smashing. If you want the benefits of a thin patty, you gotta commit. If you're feeling like you over smashed, that's probably a good thing. In the interest of prepping ahead, I typically salt before I get to the grill. People have all sorts of opinions about pre-salting the patty. I'll say this, if you'll be cooking them within an hour or so, just go for it. However, if the patties will be sitting around for several hours overnight, or if you plan on freezing them for an extended amount of time, do not pre-salt them. All the moisture will get drawn out and the burgers are gonna turn into rubber. I'm gonna to toss the patties in the fridge while we prepare everything else. If you haven't already been using trays to help stay organized, give it a shot. It makes things a hell of a lot easier. You should go without saying, but the grill needs to be preheated for at least 15 to 20 minutes at full throttle before you start grilling. You'll need to move fast, so make sure you have everything you need nearby and ready to go. Cooking utensils, this could include additional seasoning, onions, you may even want to unwrap the cheese slices in advance, buns, have an easily accessible place for trash, etc. A strong spatula will go a long way here. Note that in most instances, we're flipping a spatula around and sort of scraping the burger to release from the grill before flipping. No need to be shy here. I recommend one slice of cheese per burger patty. Stack the patties and allow the cheese to melt while you heat your buns. There's a few ways you can heat the bun, including throwing the bread directly on the grill for a more toasted finish, or you could stack the bun on top of the burger for a steamed approach. As far as onions go, I prefer them thinly sliced, not diced as they are in this video. I wasn't actually planning on filming this, otherwise I would have sliced them. Either way, clearly, the grill is great so we may lose some of our onions. It's all good. We'll be able to keep enough of the onions to make it worthwhile. As far as condiments go, mayo and pickles. That's it. Trust, we don't need much here. Leave the ketchup in the fridge and if you want a goddamn salad, have one. Leave it out of the burger.
if I was being super particular, I would probably reshoot that entire video. I wasn't happy with the lack of heat in the grill, and there wasn't enough crust on the patty, and I would have cut the onions different. Whatever, it doesn't matter. If you follow a few simple rules, it's gonna come out great. Remember to play with your food, please. Holla at your boy.